Hello everybody, it's the Big Fat Crypto Guy. Thank you very much for watching. Today, I want to talk about this pain in the ass, right? Celeron G39 LGA 1151 socket, right? So, when I brought this uh, mining rig, I said to myself, I'm going to go as cheap as I can on the actual components, i.e. the RAM, um, power supply, uh, and the motherboard, and the, and the hard drive, SSD. Right, I said to myself, Let's not spend too much money, right? Because the main point is, is the graphics cards are going to cost me the most because that's what they are. So it just does not perform. <laughs> I know mining doesn't require um, any CPU because you're using the, obviously your GPUs and stuff like that, but it just does not perform. So to, in order to make this stable, because yesterday I did a video on the overclock settings, right? To order to make this Windows machine stable on Afterburner, I had to go into System Appearances and what it you what Windows can use for graphics. Otherwise, I was getting you know cursor lag, you know just just like that, just across the screen. I was like, what is going on? No artifacts, no nothing like that. Just just lag. And when I was opening something with the miner open and stuff like that, or with the miner closed, right? I know, I know, I know, I know that it was a cheap crappy processor or whatever, right? Uh, and it's probably not just due to that, it's probably to memory as well. But it was taking forever to load up, like if I wanted to install a d driver for uh, for uh, the graphics card, you know, it was done in like 20 minutes, right? It was just... So here's what I've learned from my mistakes, right? I'm gonna buy probably eight gig of RAM, just to give it a bit more. Probably an i3 next time, just to give it a little bit more or an i5, something like that, and maybe do a bit of CPU mining plus GPU mining, so we're using both the components, or an AMD Ryzen, or something like that, just to give it a little bit more. Because um, <laughs> I've, I've, hate, I've hated the slowness. Uh, yeah, it's cheap, it cost me £40. It only cost me £40. Everything else is going to cost me £80, £90, right? And that's, you know, that's 50 quid more, or whatever. I feel gutted that I probably should have spent that 50 quid more to get a little bit better performance plus have the advantage of G uh, CPU mining as well on something but what are you going to do so now back to my rig right? so like I said I did that video yesterday and I said oh yeah within 5 minutes like over uh, overclocked, underclocked it whatever and uh, I got it running pretty well well actually an hour later the, the machine started freezing up and I thought it was that so I thought okay we'll go turn off all the graphical settings on windows and see what happens you know save you know let the gpus use a bit more let the processor have, have five minutes to spare um i'm going to change my settings and especially on the 1060 uh because i was running 100 percent solid up until i added the 1060 and then i had to work out what i was doing so my power limit is on 100 uh my power my temp limit is on 83 uh, my core clock is minus 400 because I worked out what core clock is um, and, it, and it works for dual mining if I want to do the Creed or, or something else works for dual mining. I'm not doing dual mining, I'm just going to do the Ethereum. Uh, that's core clocks on minus 400. Memory clock is on plus 951. I should probably boost it up to plus 1000 just to see what happens. And my band speed is um, at 80%. Uh, on the 1060, I'm only getting a maximum of 35 degree obviously because I've got fans spinning so much it's so cold in here but what I have noticed right and this is what would be great because on my one of my first videos I had a lot of water coming down from from the roof basically and uh, oh yeah it's been chucking it down the last couple of days but I think because the graphics cards are so hot it's actually evaporating it now which uh, you know it's a good it's a good deal it's a good deal for me so now I don't really have to go out and lag it and board it but I'm gonna do it anyway uh, I'm getting a stable 71 mega hash uh, I'm getting pretty annoyed actually because I went and spent a little bit more money on this right um, I am now getting 70 shares an hour which is which I don't know I think one share is like a penny in it it's got to be or something I don't know I don't know I don't I don't know how FRM shares work so that's been stable but the problem is I think because cryptocurrencies are mail making uh, obviously more headlines everybody wants to get into it from when I first started to, to now my, my actual earnings have decreased over the last five days quite dramatically 
So I'm just researching a coin on uh, Equihash to um, to mine to hopefully make a bit more profit. Okay. That is what I've learned over the last couple of hours. Uh, I'm probably going to invest more on a CPU just to do a bit of mining. Uh, I ain't doing nothing with burst coin, that's for sure. Uh, I don't think it's worth it just yet. Or 115 terabytes and something like five or six hundred coins at ten pence. Uh, and that's it. Righty-o, thank you very much for watching. I will um, I will definitely be updating when I have more findings on, on other stuff. I'm looking to get another rig in. Uh, I want this one to pay back at least a quarter before. So that's what, what, what that's about 200 pounds before I just say, okay, let's get another rig in. Let's take on, you know, a bit more uh, debt while I'm making money on this. And then I should do it. Righty-o, please... Um, like please uh subscribe thank you very much uh and please share thank you have a nice day that's the big fat crypto guy